happy Easter everyone. I want to share with you a really interesting little detail from the Easter story that my wife and I discovered when we were doing uh, our Bible reading this morning. We were reading the story of the two disciples who were on the road to Emmaus and, and how Jesus came alongside them incognito and asked them what was going on and they talked about how disappointed they were and how they had hoped that this Jesus would be the salvation of Israel. And yet there had been a conspiracy against Jesus and the high priests had taken him and handed him over to the Romans. And even though he was innocent, he was put to death. So they were really disappointed. And Jesus said to them, hey, you guys are really silly. You're foolish and you're slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. I clicked on this little letter here to go and see all the things that are in the prophets that are prophesied about Jesus. And we took some time to do that. But I just want to pick on one thing which is really relevant to the time we are in at the moment. And it's here in the book of the prophet Isaiah. And it talks about how um, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel or God with us. We, we all know that passage. As, as we read on down there, it's talking about the geopolitical things that were happening at the time. And um, we get to this passage here in chapter 8, verse 11, where it says, For the Lord spoke thus to me with a strong hand upon me, and he warned me not to walk in the way of this people, saying... Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what they fear, nor be in dread. This is the time we live in. People are talking about conspiracies and about uh, fake news and about this and that that's going on around the COVID crisis. The disciples, they were convinced that Jesus had been the victim of conspiracy theory. That's how he was put to death. And in many ways, uh, they were right because the authorities did conspire. But Jesus said on the cross, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. You see, most of the time, it's not a natural conspiracy. The people involved, they think they're doing the best thing for their country. And the Jews who put Jesus to death, the high priest and his people, they were convinced that it was for the good of the nation. But behind the scenes, God had a plan. It was a plan of salvation. So God speaks to us now and says, do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy. And do not fear what they fear, nor be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him shall you honor as holy. Let him be your fear and let him be your dread. And he will become a sanctuary. So that's the word of the Lord to you today. Do not fear the things that people fear, but fear God and he will be your sanctuary. With that, I wish you a very happy Easter.